Before you slide in my DMs, ask yourself, can I see myself spending all my money on her? If the answer is no, don't slide in my DMs. <laughs> modern women have become undateable in the West. The average modern woman projects endless entitlement, ruthless competitiveness, and the kind of emotional immaturity that makes it impossible for a man to tolerate her, let alone date her. This is what you get with a modern woman today. Entitlement, anger, anxiety, and emotional dysregulation. Men are increasingly finding them exhausting and not fun to be around. And it isn't just their emotional issues. It's this combined with a ton of toxic personality traits that feminism has infected them with. Narcissism, a lack of gratitude, and an overbearing, judgmental attitude. This has become the standard for what to expect from a woman in the West. Modern women approach dating with the kind of entitlement and arrogance that can only come from a total lack of self-awareness. They have no idea what it means to be a good partner or to support a man. They see men as oppressors and any kind of leadership, no matter how healthy, as internalized misogyny. They sabotage their dates and deep down, they resent men for being men. It's insane how these women go on social media wondering where all the good men have gone. The truth is, men are becoming tired of them. Thanks to modern feminism, masculinity is in decline in the West. Without masculinity, dating can't survive. Strength, courage, mastery, and honor are the essential traits of masculinity, according to Jack Donovan, author of The Way of Men, a book you should definitely read. These are traits that few men demonstrate today, and to find a woman desirable, a man needs nothing more than for her to be pretty, carefree, and charming. Today's American women can't even meet this standard anymore, and modern women wonder why men don't want to date them anymore. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Eduardo R. Salas, who said, Moved to the US and I was overwhelmed by the amount of single mothers. Also, most women only want your money, no coffee dates, only VIP restaurants. No humanity in their eyes, bro. That's a fascinating perspective from someone who moved from outside of the US. So please, don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, as it helps a ton. Now, back to the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, this next woman is a solid example of why modern women are undateable. She gets rejected in the most respectful way possible, and this is her reaction. So I know in the past, I've complained about how I hate ghosting. So the universe decided to provide me with the exact opposite. And I don't like it either. A man I went on two, count them, two dates with, decided to send me a very detailed voice memo explaining all the reasons why he could no longer date me. You might want to sit down for this. Hey, sorry I've been so MIA. Um, yeah, you know, I um, actually kind of um, started talking to my ex yesterday. I um, oh. reached out to her and um i don't know i had a really <clears throat> really great time with you don't get me wrong sure you did but you were also one of the first girls that i've been with since i've separated from her so um <clears throat> i don't know as fun as it was that that kind of got me thinking about how much i still had feelings for her and um great. still kind of deep down inside miss her i guess so I gave her a call yesterday and we talked for a while and it turns out that she kind of feels the same way. So um, we're going to try to um, get back together and make things work. 
Um, I know that's not what you want to hear, and I wasn't really expecting that to happen, but I just wanted to um, be honest with you at least and let you know what's happening. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I'm sorry for putting you through the, this confusion, you know, and I, like I said, I had a really good time with you and, and um, you know, I'm sorry that we can't keep hanging out, but I do want to give this another try. It just kind of, kind of left things hanging a little bit more than I would have liked. And I would have, I'd like to just maybe try again with her, but um, you're welcome to give me a call back if you want, but um, I understand if you don't, but I'm happy to chat about it, but um, just know I think you're fucking awesome and I'm, I'm sorry that this happened, but um, I wish you all the best of luck. And again, feel free to call if you want, okay? All right, bye. So that's how my dating life is going. How's yours? The entitlement is strong in this one. This is something modern women don't understand about men, and they never will. Men get rejected all the time in the most brutal ways possible by women all the time. She clearly can't handle rejection. She's like many modern women in the way she isn't prepared for rejection at all. Feminism has taught women to fight for equality without having to do any work or suffer for it. Men, expect that when you date a modern woman, she's going to expect the world and offer a little in return for it. Modern women have become all about getting the bag. This is yet another screw-up of toxic feminism. It didn't plan ahead. By telling two generations of women they need to be all about making that money to become strong and independent women, they ended up creating two generations of women who are driven by money. It's all they can think about. It's ridiculous that in this modern society there are still women who try to lie and claim that they don't care about money. But this is wrong. The research tells us that women love a man with money. Women admit it in their honest moments, and almost every woman shows their love for money in their behavior. If you don't think a woman cares about money, pull up in a Lamborghini and see how she reacts. You looking like a whole snack right now. Hey. Yo, chill, bro. What? This is my girl, man. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be honest, you look like her brother, bro. Don't get mad, I'm just saying. That's, Who what? the fuck are you talking to like that? Wait, chill out, bro. Nah, chill. chill. I, yo, I don't worry about you. Yo, get your man. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yo, bro, I just wanted to make some friends. Chill, chill. Is he drunk? Yo, you drunk? Yo, chill. No, no, okay, okay, okay. Nah, bro, my bad. All right, all right, my bad. Yo, yo, my bad. That's your girl. All right, I'm sorry. Hey, you get my IG, though. I'm gonna keep it 100 with each other. All right, my bad. No, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. All right, chill, chill, chill. Yo, yo, yo. People out here in Florida are wild, bro. That's why Florida always be trending on Twitter. Florida always is trending on Twitter, bruh. Florida is always trending. These, these people out here are crazy. I'm revving the car right now. I'm revving the, what she, oh my gosh, she's pulling him. She's pulling him to the car. She's pulling him to the car. Oh my God. Marriage is a win-win for women because they have nothing to lose. If the marriage goes well, she's got a provider to take care of her until she grows old. If it doesn't go well, she can divorce him and cash in those sweet alimony payments while she sits there doing nothing. It's a great deal for women, and modern women will suddenly become an Oscar-winning actress in the courtroom when it's time to convince a judge that it's all about the kids. But most of the time, it's all an act. Look at how quickly this woman's behavior changes when she realizes she won't be getting paid as much alimony as she thought. God, I'm officially divorced! Yes! Shake me! Oh my god! I'm so good! I'm such a brother! <laughs> I'm officially primary custodian of the kids. What about the child support? That's it? Tony, that's crazy. Why? Are you kidding me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? What? This is not fair. <laughs> Men, this is what you're getting into with modern women in the West. You're an ATM to her, and when it comes time to get divorced, the courts will all be on her side. You'll be used up and dried out of all your money by the time she's done with you.
social media has made women undateable by making them entitled, narcissistic, delusional, and ungrateful. Nothing is enough anymore. To a modern woman, a man buying her dinner isn't enough because she saw an Instagram story of her friend at a Michelin star restaurant earlier. It's all about female status. This is something that isn't talked about enough. Women are playing two games at once. One game is the sexual marketplace game. This is about being attractive to men. And the second game is the female status game. This is about earning validation and approval from the sisterhood. And Instagram is where modern women play both of these games. Nowadays, if you go on a date with a modern woman, you aren't the reason she's on the date. The real reason she's on the date is because of the likes and approval she gets from that photo she posted on Instagram that you'll never be in. It's about that conversation she has with the girlies about this guy who was so crazy about her he paid $400 for dinner. This is all so she could win status points with the sisterhood and appear like a desirable and top tier woman. Modern women use men for status, money, and emotional supply and they have no intention of bringing anything to the table. This is because feminism has taught women to demand everything and provide nothing. It's impossible to date a woman like that. Men, do yourself a favor. Don't marry an Instagram influencer who takes her clothes off for validation. Don't date a woman who has over 10,000 followers. It isn't worth it. Under 1,000 followers or nothing at all. Modern feminism has turned modern women into men, and now men don't want to date them. Why? Is it because we're intimidated by successful women? Is it because we're insecure in our masculinity? I don't know about you, but I have never once looked at a woman and thought, wow, I feel intimidated. It just doesn't happen. However, I probably will look at a modern woman who's bitter, resentful, and entitled and bossy and think, I don't want that woman anywhere near me because she's impossible to get along with. And this is another reason why modern women are undateable now. They're far too masculine. Feminism, ironically, has beaten the feminine energy out of women and created a generation of career-driven harpies who are more masculine than your average man. Women are allergic to accountability which is why they would rather shame men for not dating them instead of looking at their own faults and correcting them. Ladies, we aren't intimidated by you. We're turned off by you. That's the difference most women don't want to deal with. Your masculine energy is repulsive. Most modern women are critical, cold, logical, and controlling. As men, we'll gravitate towards places and people where we feel more powerful. And to be in a marriage with a modern woman, you would need to take your balls off and keep them in a mason jar under the sink. Ladies, we want to marry a woman, not a man. And it's nothing to do with us feeling emasculated. You have your sexual preferences, we have ours. And masculine women who act like men will turn off 90% of men. And as for the other 10% of the top tier men, you can forget it. A man like that wouldn't put up with a woman's masculine characteristics for a second before dumping her or leaving the date. I went to dinner recently at a restaurant near a university campus. It was full of students. I noticed a group of girls walk past me as they got up from their table. They all looked and dressed the same. Oversized t-shirts, baggy jeans, non-styled hair, no makeup. They looked like angry, badly dressed boys. I turned to the woman I was with and commented, they don't look attractive at all. And she replied, that's the current style. I don't think they're trying to look attractive. I looked around at the rest of the women around me and she was right. Most of the others looked just like them. Modern women have stopped trying to be attractive. And this is one of the many reasons why men aren't trying to date them. That being said, that doesn't stop women from racking up body count numbers to match their body weight. And we've been told by feminist nutjobs for decades that the sexual empowerment of women is a great thing. They told women that by expanding their options, they'll be in a more empowered position to find a better partner. But this isn't what happens and this isn't how humans work. When you introduce sex into the equation, things get messy very easily. 
Woke toxic feminism completely manipulated two generations of women by telling them that getting ran through as a woman is perfectly fine. They said if men can do it, why can't women? And this is incredibly naive. Specifically for women, there are serious downsides. A woman with a high body count has trained herself to be addicted to novelty and variety. She's ruined her ability to pair bond. If she experiences the normal challenges that come up in any relationship, will she stay and work it out with him? No, she'll think of all those other men she's been with. She'll start looking for the door at the first sign of trouble. You cannot trust a woman with a high body count. If you start to assert yourself and draw a boundary in the relationship, if she doesn't like it, she'll start craving that male validation again. Women with high body counts cannot possibly be a great romantic partner. Being good at relationships takes work, but these women haven't put the work in. She spent that time and energy on countless meaningless hookups. The sexual empowerment movement has created a generation of sex-addicted women hooked on instant gratification. This is one of the reasons why feminism will destroy society if it spreads. If companies, if companies can pay women less, why don't they hire all women? Well, that's a whole nother story. Really? I, under I understand your, your, your argument, mm -hmm. and I understand that you're angry. I'm not angry. I no, can no. hear it in your voice. Listen I'm not angry. Your voice. I'm hearing now my voice, and I sound pretty calm. You have now shifted the quality of your voice, and I thank you for that. Okay. And you've just given me a condescending look, and that's another reason why we need feminism. And now I'm done, and thank you right. so much. Feminism has infected the women in this country. Women have been taught that looks don't matter, that career is more important than family, and that men are either dangerous or weak and incapable. They've also been taught that the world would be a better place if only women were in charge. Everything they are taught is wrong. Everything they are taught is a lie, and the fault lies with schools, media, feminism, and parents. These institutions and individuals have corrupted their minds, their emotions, and their characters. They have trained women to live in a fantasy world of us versus them, where the me is more important than the we, where their feelings matter more than truth or even basic human goodness. These toxic teachings have made women incapable of partnerships with men. The only relationships that these women will land are with beta males who have virtually no self-respect. There's no shortage of male feminist allies and passive nice guys who will let women do whatever they want. They'll sell their soul in exchange for female approval and sex, but this won't work in the long run. They'll get a pat on their heads for being good boys, but that won't stop these women from desiring the Chads and Tyrones who aren't afraid to stand up to them and set boundaries. Modern women have become undateable. As a man, the only options we have left are to either walk away completely or find a woman from a country where toxic feminism hasn't become the norm. As a man in the West, if you get married to a modern woman, you may end up broke and miserable as she rides off into the sunset with another man while you pay $2,000 of child support every month. Don't be a simp. Have some self-respect. Realize that this is how bad things have gotten in the West. The best thing we can do as men is withdraw our attention and the problem will correct itself eventually. Stay strong and hold the line. These modern women don't deserve your attention. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, Hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.